please introduce yourself as independent board so my name is shruti sharma uh, i was born in bijnor educated in new delhi i have been a student of history sir i like to learn new things explore new cultures through food cinema languages and books and i would like to label myself as an optimist sir anything else so um, i have been a student of history so history is something which deeply motivates me at the same time sir i do wish to enter the civil services and make some change uh, in the world and in the society around me um, and issues of women issues of governance uh, issues of education deeply interest me sir so your optional is history yes sir. what is history so history in simple terms can be seen as a study of the past uh, but it is not merely a study of facts but how why they happened and attempts to uh, learn from them uh, can be seen as the study of history so uh, these days there are a lot of debate about uh, rewriting of the history yes. what is your opinion about this rewriting of history yes sir so i believe uh, history has always been written and rewritten over time so uh, because history is not uh, just a mere set of facts but how we look at them sir and those who write them look at them differently at the same time sir i believe that there should be uh, a respect to the sources that the discipline of history values and any such rewriting should be based on certain uh, sources such as numismatics or archival sources or archaeological sources can history will create a war for the uh, future if you have lot of conflicts about the evidences there are two type of ways such as a macaulay way of history and the rewriting history in the indian context will it create a lot of chaos in the indian society sir i believe debate and discussion is essential in any democracy sir mm -hmm. and as long as those uh, dis discussions and debates are not based in hatred are not based in conflict are not based in violence sir i think any sort of debate and discussion uh, can lead to a more fruitful uh, result rather than conflicts okay yes. okay shruti in your choice of services you have offered uh, service police service also it's a, uh, not a very sort of uh, high uh, sort of highly liked a policeman carries some sort of a different image what is the liability i mean image he carries he or she uh, sir, and still you want to join the police service yes sir so um the police services are a highly valued uh, services in the entire administrative spectrum sir and uh, i do believe uh, that the power and the change that a police servant can bring to the lives of the people and the immediate recourse to any individual who has been uh, struck by a personal uh, issue uh, the the immediacy with which uh, a police officer can solve those issues is of utmost importance uh, sir in, in in the welfare of the people sir so do you think common man feels uh, sort of confident in approaching a policeman if not why yes sir so i do believe in certain cases uh, there are certain problems with the institution as there are with uh, all institutions sir uh, that in terms of implementation uh, sometimes uh, in certain areas the policeman is seen as aloof or not uh, uh, not completely understanding or being uh, sensitive to um, the the concerns of the uh, of the people sir but i think police reforms are ongoing and uh, the administration itself is um, working to bring about reforms uh, which is reducing you, you said about reforms yes. i think there has been a sort of supreme court judgment also yes, reforms in the police can you throw some light on that judgment famous judgment uh, and sir? what what changes have been suggested by supreme court on the supreme court? um 
sir uh, i think it is the prakash singh judgment which talked about reform in the criminal uh, justice system sir so uh, increasing greater accountability uh, was a, uh, was an aspect of those uh, reforms sir at the same time not all of the reforms of the prakash singh judgment have been implemented in terms of uh, independent appointment of police officers can you name one i mean uh, point which is quite important in the judgment the uh, directions which have been given uh yes sir sir i uh, i'm sorry i can't recollect fully but uh, i think there was a police establishment board and the state uh, which was an independent body to appoint uh, the police officers okay my last question to you uh, i mean uh, what two steps suppose you are selected and posted in the district yes. what two three steps you would like to initiate to improve the security of women in your area yes sir so i have been educated in delhi and uh, the issue of women's safety is an important concern in delhi specifically sir so um, sir i think women's safety is not about a single step or a, a few steps it needs to be an overall environment that we need to provide to women where they can safely travel uh, so transit oriented development where there are yeah, as a police officer what two three steps you immediately you will like to take uh, sir uh, firstly reducing dark spaces so use of technology such as cctv cameras to ensure that any dark spaces where criminals okay, can dark happen. spots okay yes, uh so secondly uh, ensuring that immediate services are provided so a helpline number and women constables and uh, community policing of sorts so that uh, the gap between the people and the police is reduced in the long run and they can feel uh, uh comfortable talking to the police can be another step okay thank you Hello, Shruti. How are you? Good, sir. You are from Bijnor. Yes, sir. Describe Bijnor. Um, sir, <coughs> Bijnor is a district located in western UP, sir, uh, and the river Ganga flows through it. So it is a very fertile uh, district, uh, and therefore sugar cane is one of the major crops of Bijnor. And correspondingly, the sugar industry is very well developed, with more than five sh- uh, biggest sugar mills located in the district, sir. uh in terms of historical importance uh, the place vidurkati is associated with it and the birthplace of king bharat uh in terms of personality sir uh important poets like uh, dushyant kumar uh film personalities like vishal bharadwaj and even historical figures like abul fazl and faizi associated with akbar's court uh are linked with bijnor sir good uh why do you consider yourself as an ideal candidate for civil services um sir i think i have uh, certain qualities which uh, may make me uh, an appropriate candidate for the job sir firstly i think sir uh, my uh, my personalized ethic of dedication and ability to work uh, well with deadlines in an organized manner sir is something that makes me appropriate for the job secondly sir um, sir my my ability to work well in teams as i have been told by uh, some of my uh, Uh, friends as well i do have good interpersonal skills and uh, in the past also i have been able to work well in groups so that is an advantage so so thirdly i think my uh, my interest in the field my interest in uh, serving uh, people around me and uh, <coughs> and my dedication towards that goal sir is something that makes me a fit for the jobs fantastic uh, you have been a cultural secretary in saint stephen's college Uh, sir, I was a cultural secretary in my school, sir, Sadar Patel. School, school. okay, fine. So you must have some leadership experience when you were uh, departing that, uh, imparting that uh, particular role. So what were the leadership learning for you, um, sir? I think um, it was a great experience for me as the cultural secretary uh, in my school, and we organized all the major cultural events in the school, sir. so some things that i learned which i hadn't learned before i uh, uh, performed that role sir was um, the importance given to each team member in a leadership role uh, we can't assume all responsibility ourselves the amount of trust that we need to put in uh, other members abilities and our group members abilities is very important sir secondly sir i think um, along with the uh, giving of uh, responsibilities we also need to make sure of the micro aspects of it as well as the macro aspects so just focusing on a goal and not looking at the micro details is something that a leader cannot uh, not afford to do sir um, 
and thirdly sir constantly motivating uh, people around us and uh, not being a negative presence uh, and being only overtly critical is something that a good leader also must not do sir okay uh, do you find any difference between a manager and a leader so um according to me a manager uh, provide uh, works with a certain goal and uh, in terms of what to do and uh, working for a already pre given goal a leader on the other hand uh, i think inspires people to to do more and work better uh, to the best of their abilities okay so my last question is uh, as you when you were introducing yourself you said you want to be a change agent uh suppose you you are a district magistrate of a district yes. which has a tradition of scent industry traditional scent industry but it has died down over a period of time so you being the leader in that uh, administration and you are asked to revive that industry so what are the steps you are going to take so india specifically has been very famous for its atars and itr so i think uh, putting that on a certain pedestal and taking from our government schemes such as brand india which uh, not only uh, focus on the local market but also using technology such as portals to put forward this idea of brand india uh, in the context of scents or atars can be one step that should be taken secondly sir using uh, and employing the abilities of the local people and um, there are certain knowledge bases which only the local people have and certain uh, uh, ways of making sense say in the kanauj area which have uh, unique ways of making sense so those can be employed and tackled hopefully uh, so thirdly introducing certain supervisors uh, who have a knowledge of this uh, industry and working on the micro level is also certain things that i think i will do so thank you thank you sir shruti Uh, you was a elected class representative in your college time, college or school time. Why don't you trying your future in politics in India instead of coming to civil services? Uh, so uh, politics uh, is a good way of uh, representing uh, I, uh, one's electorate in a democracy. At the same time, uh, sir, I personally uh, believe that uh, civil services. Uh, provides me an avenue where uh, i can it can be a scope for personal learning where the diversity of uh, the services uh, will will provide me a better platform to better use my capabilities in the administrative realm sir so do you think you have that leadership qualities for administration uh, yes sir sir i think so yes, tell me what kind of leadership qualities you will use in your indian indian postal services so uh, with the limited understanding that i have sir uh, so indian postal services and the post has always been uh, and the letter specifically sir has been an emotional bond that links uh, the entire country sir so reviving that through um, various measures and uh, use of uh, the media and uh, and and newspapers to revive that uh, revive that the idea of writing letters is something that uh, that can be encouraged sir uh, through various platforms such as youtube uh, and all uh, highlighting the emotional aspects so um so greater awareness programs um influxion of technology in uh, in these areas is also a certain thing that i can think of consider yourself as a election commission election commissioner of india and tell me three reforms you want to implement uh, in indian election system Yes, sir. So, firstly, a problem uh, that we see in the composition of uh, uh, the elect uh, of the of the elected representatives is the increasing politicization uh, of and of the of the electorate as well as the um, use of money power, sir. So, decreasing the use of money power uh, is something that the election commission can be empowered to do uh, through greater uh, 
punitive powers uh, that the Supreme Court has also talked about recently in terms of uh, laying down guidelines so that the winnability of a candidate in terms of monetary terms and criminal background is not provided as a reason for selecting a candidate, sir. Uh, secondly, sir, I think um, greater awareness among the population, among the lower population, especially the first time voters. So going out and exercising their vote is something uh, that the election commission is doing and can further uh, increase its outreach programs because close to 30% of the population still does not go out and vote. So, so that is uh, a certain thing that the election commission can do. So thirdly, uh, recently there have been um, concerns about uh, transparency and uh, EVM, sir. So I think uh, the election commission has been a very transparent organization, but uh, including all political parties in terms of the increasing the perception of transparency, uh, transparency uh, through involving them at various stages is also uh, a step that can be taken. Sir. So tell me, you are a history student. Tell me why the 1857 is a watershed moment in Indian history. Uh, so, 1857 is considered as uh, one of the first time when uh, the British realized the might of the coming together of the Indian people. Sir. So, although it was not a very widespread uh, movement and remained uh, in, in northern India, but it led to a series of um, steps by the British government and it for the first time made them realize uh, the possibility of a rebellion by the Indians. Sir. So, uh, you wrote as a uh, exploring world cinema. What do you mean by exploring world cinema? Uh, sir, I uh, like to uh, see world uh, movies in terms of, I believe the cin uh, cinema as a whole does not have a vocabulary uh, in terms of only a certain uh, language or subtitles, but the vocabulary of cinema, how the camera moves, uh, the mood of the movie, the lightings used is something that really fascinates me. At the same time, sir, it gives me an insight into different cultures and looking at Iranian cinema, looking at Korean cinema, you realize the, uh, the similarity of human emotions in all different forms of cinema. At the same time, an insight into the different cultural aspects of different countries. Sir. Uh, award was given to CODA, sir, uh, which is uh, about uh, the about the life of a, uh, of a child with the deaf parents. So. Best actor award? So, the best actor award was given to Will Smith for his role in King Richard. So, Shruti, I will continue with history only. You are student of history. So, can you tell me how historically Ashoka and Buddhism are related to each other? The Ashoka, uh, King Ashoka is known as one of the first Upasaks of uh, Buddhism, where uh, not only was he a personal uh, believer in the ideas of Buddhism, but also used it in his administration. So, his idea of Dhamma uh, was propagated through the whole of India, through his pillar edicts and rock edicts, sir. So, so in that way, they are connected. Okay. So, it is known after Kalinga Vara, Ashoka adopted Buddhism, denounced all powers, he doesn't focus on defense services. So, can you relate that Ashoka policy to current Ukrainian policy? The king having no defense power not focusing on defense, no budget on defense. So, can you relate both Ashoka as a king and Ukrainian president now? Um, so, some historians do say that uh, the reason uh, that uh, the, the fall of the modern empire happened was uh, due to the lack of emphasis on the defense policy after the Kalinga war. So, um, sir, if I try to apply that to the uh, recent Russian-Ukrainian crisis, uh, it is being said that due to the 1994 uh, memorandum, Budapest memorandum, Ukraine did give up its uh, nuclear weapons and did not think about its security interests and did not become a part of NATO. And so for that reason, Russia found it easier to um, 
uh, start uh, start a war in Ukraine, sir. Good. So you studied in the Sardar Patel Vidyalaya. Yes. Sir. And your father profession is architect. Yes. So can you name the architect of the Sardar Patel statue in Gujarat? You have idea? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I don't. Know. Okay, no problem. So uh, I will continue. You are doing masters in sociology. Yes, sir. I've just started my masters just in sociology. You are aware about the concept of Sanskritization? Um, so, uh, I've just started my graduation, uh, my post graduation, uh, but in my limited understanding, sir, uh, it is the process of uh, the, the castes lower in the caste hierarchy of uh, emulating uh, the castes in the upper hierarchy uh, to become closer to their status through the change in their practices. Right. So, you are from UP also, so can you relate how Yadav in UP have done it, Sanskrit, how they used Sanskritization process as an upliftment? Uh, sir, I don't think I would be able, I am not aware. No problem. So, you studied in Delhi also, so you are aware about the Delhi model of education? Uh, yes, sir. Can you brief me a few points? Um, so, the Delhi model of education has been considered a relatively successful model of education where recently uh, the uh, the pass percentage and the result of the government schools has been even better than the uh, private schools and a number of steps have been taken in that direction. Firstly, sir, is the emphasis on infrastructure and improving the infrastructure of the schools. Uh, secondly, sir, uh, is the involvement of uh, parents in the school management committees which has increased the accountability of the schools uh, as well as the teachers. Thirdly, sir, is the emphasis on teacher training and even uh, links have been made with foreign universities and foreign colleges to increase teacher training and the reward mechanism has also increased through uh, yearly uh, teacher awards which increases their uh, uh, status. Fourthly, sir, is the change in the curriculum. So, certain uh, unique aspects have been brought in such as the happiness curriculum which not only focuses on uh, the Rote, uh, rote learning and the academic uh, curriculum, but also emotional education and social emotional education. Uh, so these are the steps uh, which uh, have made it a success. So suppose you are a DM of any district in UP. Yes. So which major steps you will take to improve the education system in the your district? In 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 my district of uh, Bijnor, sir. Uh, while education has rapidly increased and improved over the years, uh, two major problems emerge. Firstly, is that of infrastructure and secondly, that of teachers. Sir. So, while uh, the headquarters and district uh, does have good schools, but it does not percolate down to the village and the tehsil level. So, sir, uh, even in my village, uh, still till today, there is no science uh, stream. Uh, school in uh, in 11th and 12th sir. So, infrastructurally uh, there is a need to construct more schools sir and secondly more importantly is the idea of uh, good teachers. So, uh, learning also from the Delhi education model teacher training I think should be given greater emphasis um, even after the appointment of teachers regular teacher training and stock taking should be taken sir. Okay. So, you are talking about the infrastructure of schools right. Yes. So, as a DM, you know about how much fund you are having to improve this kind of infrastructure. Yes, sir. As a DM, which powers you have to use funds for the infrastructure improvement? Uh, sir, uh, I would not know about the intricacies of uh, the powers, but uh, I think, sir, a prioritization should be done while utilizing the funds. So, with respect to schools, uh, so sanitation is a very important aspect. So, ensuring that schools have uh, 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 washrooms for women is a very important step in ensuring a good enrollment ratio in the schools. So, um, secondly, sir, I think uh, chairs and tables are important because sometimes uh, there is only one classroom. So, uh, a, a certain division of space in chairs and tables increases that. With can't be constructed basic equipment like beakers and uh, all. So, sir, I think a prioritization should be done step by step. Sir. Okay. So, my last question to you. Uh, there is so much hype recently about Korean cinema, Korean. Yes. 
So what do you think our Bollywood is missing if you compare it with the Korean cinema or the world cinema? Uh, yes, sir. sir. Bollywood is one of the largest uh, industries, making industries in the world. Uh, yet it has not received the, the sort of accolades that we have won. Although recently, uh, one of our documentaries, uh, Writing with Fire, was uh, awarded uh, uh, an Oscar in, in the recent uh, awards. At the same time, sir, I think uh, uh, an emphasis on our regional audiences uh, is something that, that Bollywood focuses on. So, um, a, a greater diversity of topics uh, moving beyond uh, romance uh, is something that can be done and is being done constantly. So, uh, sir, I think it is an ongoing process which is happening. Sir. One of the question for you. Explain freedom of expression in the terms of the Western cinema and Indian cinema, especially in the terms of the Central List and uh, the Kashmir Files. Are we ready to take the such, uh, such serious matter as you mentioned that a lot of dancing and music and happening in the Indian cinema? Can you please define the difference between the Shinra List and uh, the Kashmir Files, the recent controversy? So Article 19 of the Constitution uh, does uh, provide us with the freedom of speech and expression, sir. Uh, sir, Schindler's List is a movie uh, related to Nazi Germany and highlighting the, 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 the entire Holocaust and the atrocities that in the Holocaust. Uh, the Kashmir Files um, uh, is a movie about, uh, about the Kashmiri Pandits and the atrocities happened, uh, that happened in Kashmir against them. Very good representations of how cinema can be an avenue for uh, talking about historical injustices and the idea of freedom of expression, sir. Uh, sir, I do think that we as a society uh, are ready for such discussions to take place, and um, the popularity of the movie uh, is um, is an indicator uh, that such discussions are happening and should be allowed in a healthy democracy, sir. But there is a lot of controversy in yes, comparison sir. to the Schindler's List. Yes, sir. So, uh, are we ready to take these kind of uh, controversial subjects right now? Sir, I think uh, any sort of debate and discussion is healthy as long as it does not lead to uh, violence or hurting uh, any other person, sir. So, mm -hmm. I think uh, we are ready, sir, uh, for uh, such expansion of freedom of expression. But there are a lot of uh, intellectuals who say that that is a great, uh, create a greater divide in our society, this movie. Uh, are you agree with that in terms of the freedom of expression? As you uh, mentioned that movies or cinema must follow the freedom of expression. Yes, sir. sir, uh, sir Article 19 of the Constitution is also accompanied uh, with a set of reasonable restrictions where um, as long as the sovereignty and integrity of India uh, or certain violence does not come into place, those, uh, those the freedom of uh, expression should be upheld, sir. So, so I believe that as long as that stage is not reached, uh, any sort of debate and discussion is healthy, sir. Thank you so much, you, and uh, we all are wishing for your best future you, and bright future. Before uh, assessment, how can you assess yourself? Performance was okay. There were certain questions that, that I could have answered very soon uh, and had more clarity in answers. So, did you guess your negative points? Uh, sir, in, in those contexts, uh, me uh, not having clarity in certain questions uh, and repeating myself can be one uh, negative. Sir interview that you must improve your eye contacts okay. when you started your interview you must have a proper proper eye contacts yes. and uh, uh, you must uh, also address to each and every people in the board okay. especially in chairman so uh, yes. sir please your own view Shruti, okay. uh, you're confident yes. your dressing sense is good yes. you have uh, you know, good command over your interpersonal skill but you need to engage everybody everybody uh, when you are um, I, i'm asking you a question you have to look at every board member and complete smile on your face um, 
जब थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेसफुल क्वेश्चन आ जाते हैं ना तो आपको थोड़ा सा नर्वसनेस आ जाता है तो उस स्ट्रेसफुल क्वेश्चन में नो इज अ कम्प्लीट सेंटेंस यू नो ना तो जब आपको नहीं पता है कोई चीज तो उसमें अवॉइड करना है क्वेश्चन सो जो आपका फोटे है यू हैव टू लीड यूर इंटरव्यू जब क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाएंगे यूपीएससी में तो जहाँ पे आपका ये है यू ट्राइड इट कि हाँ जैसे सिनेमाज वगैरह कोरियन ईरानियन तुम लेकर जा रही थी बट ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि वो नहीं जाना चाहे वहाँ पे तो जब नहीं जहाँ पे आपको लगता है कि नहीं वहाँ से इसके आगे मैं वीक हूँ तो उस फोटे में नहीं लेकर जाना है इंटरव्यू को उसके बाद में तुम नीचे देख रहे थे जब जब क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं स्टार्टिंग में भी इनिशियली नीचे देख रही थी तो वो थोड़ा सा अवॉइड कर सकती हो जब नहीं कुछ समझ में आ रहा है तो हम डायरेक्टली बोल देना तुमने एक बहुत अच्छे से बताया क्या सॉरी सर मेरा मतलब लैक ऑफ उसमें नॉलेज है उस तरीके से तुम ये कर दो तो बेटर रहेगा डायरेक्टली नो बोलने से बेटर है क्या उसको आर्टिकुलेटिव ये में कि हाँ सर इस फील्ड में मेरा नॉलेज कम है और मुझे एक चीज लगती है कि तुम्हारा थोड़ा सा जो सिचुएशनल क्वेश्चन देते हैं उसमें बहुत मतलब एक आर्टिकुलेटिव होने की जरूरत है जैसे वन प्रोडक्ट वाला जो ये क्वेश्चन पूछा था सेंट के लेकर भी मैंने भी ईसीआई का रिफॉर्म पूछा था एज अ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर फिर डीएम के बारे में बोले थे तो देखो डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हमेशा ख्याल में रखना डिस्ट्रिक्ट में डीएम इज अड ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो बींग एंड हेड ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई विल मतलब आई विल हेड द मीटिंग तो डिस्ट्रिक्ट एजुकेशन से पूछा तो एजुकेशन रिलेटेड जो मीटिंग होगी मैं उसको हेड करती हूँ पावर के बारे में जिस तरीके से बोला कि पावर के न्यूएंसेस मैं नहीं जानती हूँ बट आई एम बींग एंड हेड ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई विल अरेंज अ मीटिंग एंड टेक ऑल द फीडबैक फ्रॉम एवरी वन एंड देन आई विल डू और दूसरा क्वेश्चन ख्याल से सुन लिया था जैसे सर ने स्टार्टिंग में ही क्वेश्चन पूछा था क्या How we will you introduce yourself as an independent and empowered woman? तो वो ये जो चीजें होती है ना इसमें शिक्षा मारने के चांसेस होते हैं तो वहाँ पे तुमने एकदम नॉर्मल आंसर दे दिया तो being an independent के हाँ मैं कैसे हूँ उस टाइप से थोड़ा क्वेश्चन को सुन लियो और क्या डिमांड है क्वेश्चन की उस हिसाब से आंसर बाकी योर रियली गुड गुड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल है थोड़ा सोच के पुलिस रिफॉर्म का हम बात कर रहे हैं ना ये थोड़ा रखो और एक कोई आंसर जिसमें आप कंफर्टेबल है ना बहुत लंबा आंसर मत दो जैसे सिनेमा का दिया ज्यादा लंबा आंसर दोगे तो वो इंटरेस्ट भी खत्म हो जाता है और आपका टाइम वेस्ट होगा ठीक है सर कीप इट ब्रीफ एंड टू द पॉइंट ओके सर हम भी नर्वस भी पार्ट पे हैं एंड वन द लास्ट सजेशन दैट यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन योर डी एफ ओके लिटिल बिट मोर राइट and there are four uh, mm. step formula that's mm. uh, that is p w n method mm. uh, work on your personality and mm. what you discuss in your def mm-hmm. your academics little bit mm. isko thoda sa brush up karne ki zarurat hai you working jaise ki aapne apna interest show kiya ki mm. aapka kya interest hai mm. aur aapka basically hobbies ya aapki personality ke sath wo kaise attach ho sakta hai thoda sa inka agar aap 10% 15% improve aur karte hain to aapke liye bahut beneficial rahega जो आपको लैक मिला वो है आपका सिचुएशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन पे आप उसको सडनली टैकल कम कर पा रहे थे बट डेफिनेटली अगर आप इसको बहुत अच्छे से करते हैं तो डेफिनेटली यू विल कम आउट विद फाइन कंडीशन ऑफ दिस सिचुएशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस यू नो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज योर प्रायोरिटाइजेशन इज नॉट प्रॉपर ओके सर यू आर गेटिंग इनटू द माइक्रो स्टफ और एज अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट लीडर डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर यू आर वर्क फ्रॉम द मैक्रो लेवल टू द माइक्रो So mm-hmm. you please work on your strategic acumen. Okay. So what is the strategic acumen? The strategic acumen mm-hmm. is about scanning the internal, external mm-hmm. environment, mm-hmm. and talking to every stakeholder, mm-hmm. and then come up with a vision, some mm-hmm. strategy. Mm-hmm. So that strategic, uh, if you mm-hmm. develop this, you'll mm-hmm. be able to tackle all these uh, uh, situation-based questions. Okay. Sir. Sometimes mm-hmm. uh, we found that your shoulder was dropping. Okay. Sir. Otherwise, you were confident. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, उस समय का जो है आप जब क्वेश्चंस नहीं आ रहे हैं तो थोड़ा हो रहा है और ना करना सीखिए क्या प्रॉब्लम है शिंडलर्स लिस्ट के बारे में आपको पता नहीं है तो आप मना करिए उसको एंड योर स्माइल इज वंडरफुल यूज इट मोर ऑफ
sir for that uh, question specifically on a sense what could have been a, uh, a wholesome answer i hmm. told you that hmm. uh, आप कोई जादू नहीं है आपके पास कि आप जाती जो है आप करने लग जाएंगे पहले आपको सेंस करना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू स्कैन द एनवायरनमेंट व्हाट वर द ट्रेडिशनल दिस थिंग स्टेक होल्डर से आप बातचीत करेंगे और हम क्या कर सकते हैं कैसे रिवाइव कर सकते हैं कोई फॉरेन कोलैबोरेशन हो सकता है उसके अंदर एंड देन यू हैव टू अलाइन दिस थिंग्स विद द गवर्नमेंट्स इनिशिएटिव्स एंड गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज आल्सो और हो सकता है कि आप किसी फॉरेन उसके साथ कोलैबोरेट करके और आगे बढ़ करके उसके लिए आपका क्या प्रोडक्शन होगा उसके लिए क्या ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज का डेवलपमेंट होगा ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट होगा सो यू आर अ पर्सन हु इज लुकिंग आफ्टर एवरीथिंग यस जस्ट जस्ट डोंट पास ऑर्डर्स ये करेंगे ये करेंगे mm-hmm. आपको भी सीखना है ऐसे क्वेश्चंस mm-hmm. में ना आपकी लर्निंग mm-hmm. mm-hmm. और आपका कंट्रीब्यूशन कोलैबोरेटिव अप्रोच ये सारा मतलब इट्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी यू कैन वर्क ऑन ए टेम्पलेट एंड जस्ट डू इट एंड वर्क ऑन द मैनेजरियल क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो लीडरशिप दिस थिंग ठीक है, थैंक यू सर। यस। बर्निंग क्वेश्चन होना चाहिए जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन uh, hmm. या तो वेरियस सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजमेंट हो गए उसके अकॉर्डिंगली आंसर दे उसमें ये नर्वस होने की जरूरत नहीं है uh, एकदम फ्री एंड फ्रैंक जो लगता है वो बोल दो अगर और ज्यादा उस पर क्रॉस क्वेश्चन करने लग जाएंगे तो बोल देना कि नहीं सर दिस इज मतलब दिस इज माय हम्बल सबमिशन एक क्वेश्चन में जैसे uh, इन्होंने एक क्वेश्चन पूछा था आपने उसका जवाब मतलब अगेंस्ट में दिया बट uh, मतलब वो जो बोल रहे थे उसको आप एग्री नहीं कर रहे थे तो बोल देना कि पार्डन मी सर uh, या तो uh, मैं मेरा ओपिनियन थोड़ा अलग है इससे लेकर तो पहले एक रिजॉइंडर ज्वाइन कर लेना तो सारे गुना माफ हो जाते ठीक है चलो बेस्ट ऑफ लक वी आर वेरी होपफुल दैट यू विल बी इन लिस्ट थैंक यू ओके टेक अ स्मॉल ब्रेक नेक्स्ट ये उतार के जाना जरूरी है नेक्स्ट फोन में एक्चुअली आफ्टर नाउ आई हैव टू